Hello, my name is Tony Lyle, a CAM application engineer at Prolin PLM. In this snack bite, I'd like to demonstrate the interoperability from Solid Edge to NX CAM. I have a part open in a Solid Edge session that needs to be manufactured. In the Tools tab, there's a tool called CAM Express, which will launch the Solid Edge part in an NX session. I'll switch to the manufacturing application and select my setup template. I'll create a tool and select from a predefined tool carrier from this template. I'll also define the workpiece in blank. We'll set our blank and now we'll create some operations. I'll start with a cavity mill with a 25 millimeter index cutter. I'll generate this tool path and now I'll move to a face milling operation. So I'll create a face mill operation with a three quarter inch end mill. I'll switch my method to a mill finish method. Here I'll specify the cut area floor as the top of the part. And I'll generate that. Now I'll create an operation to profile the outs outside of the part with a Z level profile operation. We're gonna use the same tool, a three quarter inch end mill, and we'll specify cut area, and I'm going to specify the perimeter of the part. I'll generate that. And now I'll drill the hole. I have a 9 30 seconds inch hole. I'm going to get a 9 30 seconds drill, and we'll drill this hole. And finally, I'll do a hole milling operation for the counter bore. I'll use a quarter inch end mill. And I'll specify the feature. And now I'll generate that. Okay, so we have our operations now. Often on the shop floor, you see design changes happen during the manufacturing process or a customer updates a part and sends a new revision. Perhaps your customer sent an updated revision to a part you manufactured in the past. With NX's associativity and the interoperability from Solid Edge to NX CAM, you can make these revision changes inside Solid Edge and they will update in NX. Let's take a look. So I'll make a design change to this one inch, diam one inch dimension, maybe uh, one and a quarter. And also, let's move this hole to a new location. So we have some obvious design changes. Now you can save. Once you save this, you can go back to your NX session. And we have a tool called Displayed Part Properties. Once I click on this and get the dialog box, I click on update from file and you'll see the part update immediately. So these are the changes from the NX session. Now, you'll note that the tool paths are out of date, but instead of the need to recreate our operations or reselect our geometry or cut areas, everything stays associated. So we simply regenerate the parent and the toolpaths will quickly update to the new part geometry. Now you can save your NX CAM file with the new revisions. So now we have operations that are associative to this part and have moved to the proper locations based on the update design changes. Thank you for watching this snack bite and please check out our other snack bites and lunch bites.
Prolin PLM.